Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the program as we have a couple of very special guests joining us at the desk here. Jason Parkin, we do have the co-chair of the Central Iowa Free to Breathe Walk Run. Jimmy Morgan is here. And look who's back on TV. Yay. Let me back. He literally let him back on. He's, okay, they must believe be. that. We found somebody that actually let me back on the air. <laughs> That's what happened to all three of Patrick us. Patrick Bell <laughs> is here with us. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. We How are you guys? For what good? I know, good. yeah. But everything's been great. Big event coming up in a couple it of weekends is. from now. Yes, two weekends from now, a week from this Saturday on October 10th, we have a 5K run walk out at Raccoon River Park. Excellent. And what is it for? It is for, um, most importantly, raising um, dollars for lung cancer research, um, at raising education and awareness within the community as well, and really just bringing a, together a community of people that have been impacted by lung cancer. Patrick, you are one of those people. Would you be so kind as to tell us sure. your story? Yeah, some people might not know this story. Right, right. It was in, uh, let's see, July of 2013 when um, I, you know, I had a either an upper respiratory infection or some kind of pneumonia. It was almost like a running joke. Hey, Bell's sick again. He's mm. got this, you know, chest gunk or whatever. So my family doctor said, you know, something's not right there. You know, let's get you into John Stoddard Cancer Center. We'll get a bronchoscopy and we'll see what's going on. That's where they stick a, you know, camber down your lung and, and mm. look. And so I wake up out of anesthesia and the doctor's ashen. You know, he's No getting, way. Yeah, oh, he's wow. got this face like, oh my gosh, it, you know. Something's Probably wrong. totally unexpected, right? Absolutely. And he said, you have a cancerous tumor in your lung. And then from that, Lou and, and Jason, everything just changed. I mean, it was just a whirlwind of, oh my, because you know, nothing matters. Once, once you hear oh, that yeah. word, nothing else word, matters. Yeah. It changes everything. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, they, they, uh, I did a PET scan, which they put radiation in your body and take a full scan mm -hmm. to see if it's spread or not. But it was isolated. The PET scan didn't actually pick that up. So it was isolated to my lung. So I went up to Mayo Clinic in August, and they removed half of my right lung. Wow. Did Basically, they really? They did, and that was a curative procedure. Wow. So no chemo, no radiation. It was curative. All right, so how has, it, how has this changed what you do on a regular basis then? Because you have half Nothing. a lung missing. Nothing? Nothing. Really? No. I mean, working out, I'm stronger than I've ever been. I, I run. You know, I can't tell anything. Look what happens just a to big people when they lose tele when they leave television. <laughs> they get good looking and skinny. No, just a big manly scar, and that's that's really it. But I'm telling you, I am so blessed to be here and to be cured um, with just a surgical procedure. And it's events like the one coming up that are really going to help people get the help they need. Yeah, and and you know, uh, we have to continue to advocate. We have to continue to be aware of this disease. It's insidious, as yeah. you're well aware. Yeah. And. We have to keep raising money because they we never know when that doctor or when that last dollar, Lou, is going to make a difference. Do they know how it, it, it came to be or not? That they have no idea. I was just speaking with Jamie, and, and I had to cover Hurricane Katrina down in, in New Orleans in 2007, and I, I think that's where I got it because oh. we were all sick after that. Maybe you breathed something in. Yeah, we were on top of Humvees driving downtown New Orleans. Right. All this dust was kicking up in our face. You I know? remember that, yeah. Yeah, and we were all sick from that point. As and from then it just seemed like a constant cold or a constant upper respiratory problem. Well, yeah. one of the things I did tell him, though, too, is radon is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I said is, has your, test been, your home been tested for radon? Mm -hmm. And it was high, and so they had their home mitigated, which is another big mm. education piece right. that a lot of people aren't aware of, that it's the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. I mean, everybody associates lung cancer with a smoker's disease, yeah. and it, it's not. I've met so many people in their 30s and 40s that are diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, and they've never smoked a day in their life. Well, and there's the problem with the research, right? Because it is, con it, it is thought of by a lot of people as a smoker's disease. My dad died on Valentine's Day. He smoked his whole life. He had lung cancer. And so it doesn't get funded like it should right. because people have an attitude that, well, they smoke, they deserve it, they deserve mm -hmm. to get right. lung cancer. Right. And that's not at all right. true. Mm -mm. Nope, uh, anybody with lungs can get lung cancer, they don't deserve lung cancer whether they've smoked or not. And even if, if they had smoked, like you said, it, it still deserves the funding that it needs, but the stigma's out there. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get the research dollars to, you know, detect it early like right. Patrick's was. You know, this was very fortunate, but most people are detected when they're stage exactly. four. And, and that's where the research needs to, needs to come. We need to find this earlier because that's really the key to surviving this disease. And it's a mean. scary form of cancer. Oh right? If you have lung cancer, it just yeah. it tends to spread very quickly. Right. Now, Parkin, you be, you're part of this too? Yes, I'll be emceeing the event, uh, although uh, could, you're probably more qualified to do it than I am, but yeah, I'll, I'll show up. <laughs> I was but, wondering, well, Jason, yeah, Patrick's going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and yeah, they, we can have a battle of the mics or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. we'll, have a, we'll have a wrap off, but <laughs> since, since, you know, what happened to my dad, and, you know, I thought, yeah. geez, how can I say no to this, and I sure want to help, so I'm happy to be it's there. It's a great event. It's very touching. 
especially when we release the balloons. Am I giving things away? No, not at all. No, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. We have about 500 participants that come out each year. And, you know, the thing, this is year number five that we've done this. And, and what I've really taken away, I lost my mom six years ago. So it was, I was looking for a community to, to join and an event to join just to remember her every year. But it's turned into so much more than that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of these people that have been touched by lung cancer in one way or the other come together on that day. And it's a very family friendly event. We have a balloon release that's very, you know, touching just to honor and remember people that we lost but also to create hope for those that have been diagnosed and know that there are treatment options that are being funding with funded with the uh, money we're raising that day. Do we know how much money we expect to raise this week? Well over the last four years we've raised a hundred thousand dollars in total mm -hmm. so um, all of that money is going towards lung cancer research education and awareness programs. That is great. All right, so you're going to have a good time. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I will with the people that will be there and these two uh, people, and hopefully I can give you a good forecast. Don't know yet. but <laughs> We want I, lots of sunshine. Yeah, yes. I'll see what I can do. No I'll rain. sure try. So uh, thank you guys for coming in. No, you're welcome. Now for Thanks, more John. information, if you want to get more information on this, the easiest way. Freetobreathe.org. Freetobreathe.org. So perfect. So just check that out and go out there and enjoy it. And I like the start time, too. Not 8.30. 840. 840 on the dot. Registration does start at 730, so come out early and enjoy the festivities. Yeah, that is great. Good to see you. Thanks yeah. for coming out. Thank you for having us. Hey, our pleasure. See you, sir. You got it.